everybody, it's Keisha here, and the weather is getting colder, which means that it is now officially flu season. And when you're living in the city, you are always coming into contact with different people at all times. So today's video is about uh, basically my germophobic guide, uh, covering all the basics, the things that I do on a regular basis to keep myself germ-free through these colder months. First thing for me is that I have a very sensitive like throat area. I get really sick and usually it starts with my neck and it's because it's not covered. So always try to carry a scarf with you for the fluctuating temperatures to reduce the chance of catching cold. I got a challenge for you. Try to go outside from your house to your job without touching a surface. That is really hard. It's practically impossible. Public surfaces are pretty much the leading place that you will catch a lot of germs. The pole on the subway, I never touch it. It grosses me out so much. In order to fight that, you're going to want to carry a hand sanitizer with you at all times. This one's from Bath & Body Works. It's a creamy pumpkin. It smells really great and it's wonderful for killing most of the germs you come into contact with. Just keep in mind that hand sanitizer only works after three uses. And then you have to wash your hands. When you're out on the town, going into restaurants to enjoy a lovely meal, we drink from these glasses all the time and what tends to happen is they're not washed very clean. And you might even see a smudge of lipstick. That's happened to me a bunch of times. So always check your glasses before drinking from them as well as your utensils. Now if you're out shopping at like a Sephora or a Macy's, if you're trying eyeshadow, you do not want to put that directly on your eyelid because you don't know who else has just tried it. Best thing to do is to sample it on your hand and see if the colors match for your skin tone and then decide if you want to buy it. If you do, you can take it home, try it out. If it doesn't work, a lot of these stores like Sephora and Macy's have really great return policies so that you can always get your money back or exchange if it comes to that. Even more so, this is the case for lipstick. Grab a cotton swab and some rubbing alcohol. It tends to be provided at these stores as well. Wipe your lipstick down. Cold stores is a very real thing, y'all. You do not want to take it home with you. Wipe your lipstick down before sampling it at the store. So when you get home, grab a bottle of rubbing alcohol. I keep this one in a spray bottle at all times. A cotton swab, spray it, and then wipe your phone down. We carry our phones with us all the time, touching things, touching our phones. So there are, tend to be a lot of germs on them. So whenever you can, wipe it down so that you kill anything uh, that you picked up along the way. Also, don't sit on the train or the bus and then go home and sit on your bed with the same outfit. Bad idea. There are germs on your clothes, man. You don't want to take the train to your house. So change your clothes, get into some comps, and then chill out as much as you like. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, my basic guide to keeping germs out of your life during the colder season. I hope you liked it, and I will see you next time. Bye.